embark on a transformative journey with Lumen Spiritus, the Light of Spirit, a channel dedicated to exploring the depths of spirituality and the esoteric. Join us as we navigate a path of enlightenment and discovery, unraveling the enigmatic tapestry of the unseen realms. In this video, we are exploring the mesmerizing realm of tarot card art, unraveling the esoteric symbolism and hidden meanings that make these ancient cards truly enchanting. Let's go on a journey through the captivating visual language that adds depth to the artistry behind tarot reading, offering a profound glimpse into its spiritual tapestry. This video is filled with intriguing and thought-provoking facts and insights, so don't hesitate to hit pause or to watch it again. Plus, you'll find additional insights, book links, and our top 10 videos from Lumen Spiritus in the video description below for further exploration. Have you ever wondered about the intricate, sometimes bewildering and often beautiful art on tarot cards? Their symbolism is as rich as it is mysterious, and they've been captivating imaginations for centuries. This is the enigma of tarot art, a realm where every picture tells a story and each symbol bears an esoteric meaning. The origins of tarot are as elusive as the messages they convey, steeped in ancient wisdom traditions from across the globe. Some say they originated in Egypt, others believe they were inspired by the mystical Kabbalah. What is certain is that they are a symbolic language, a visual encyclopedia of the human experience. This is not just art, but a form of divination, a mirror reflecting our subconscious, a tool for introspection. Each card, each image, each color, and each symbol holds a secret waiting to be deciphered. Now let's delve into the hidden meanings behind this magical art. Let's start with the Rider Waite Smith deck. One of the most popular decks, the Rider Waite Smith, is replete with esoteric symbolism. At first glance, the images may appear simple, almost childlike, but don't be deceived. Each card is a treasure trove of mystical wisdom, waiting to be decoded. Let's delve into the esoteric meanings of a few key cards. Take the Fool, for instance. In numerology, the number zero represents infinite potential. A beginning point, the Fool, numbered zero, embodies this potential. He stands at the edge of a cliff, about to step into the unknown. His carefree demeanor suggests faith in the journey ahead, a journey we all undertake in different stages of our lives. Next, we have the High Priestess. The number two in numerology signifies balance, duality and harmony. The High Priestess, seated between the pillars of Solomon's Temple, represents the balance between knowledge and intuition. She is the guardian of the subconscious, the bridge between the seen and the unseen. Now consider the Hanged Man. In the Kabbalistic Tree of Life, the Hanged Man corresponds to the path between Horde and Netzach, signifying sacrifice and surrender. The hanged man, suspended upside down, signifies a change in perspective. It's a call to let go of old patterns and embrace new ways thinking. Astrologically, each card also holds significance. The fool is associated with Uranus, the planet of change and disruption. The high priestess is linked to the moon, symbolizing intuition and the subconscious. The hanged man corresponds to Neptune, the planet of illusion and enlightenment. In the Rider Waite Smith deck, symbolism is not just in the figures, but also in the colors, the landscapes, the objects. Every single detail is meticulously crafted to convey profound esoteric meanings. Remember, each card is a symbolic journey, a narrative encoded with ancient wisdom. And as you explore these narratives, you unravel layers of knowledge, wisdom and self-discovery. So keep your mind open and let the journey unfold. Another treasure chest of esoteric symbolism is the Thoth Tarot, designed by occultist Alistair Crowley. Diving straight into the mystical depths of the Thoth Tarot, let's begin with the card of the Magus. The Magus, or the Magician as it's known in many other decks, is a fascinating figure embodying the power of transformation. Crowley's depiction of this card is steeped in hermetic philosophy, with symbols that represent the four elements and the infinite potential of the human mind. The magus is a conduit, a bridge between the spiritual and the physical, the macrocosm and the microcosm. Moving on, we encounter the celestial beauty of the star. The star is a beacon of hope, a guiding light in the darkness. In Crowley's Thoth Tarot, the star is associated with the zodiac sign Aquarius and represents the dawning of a new age. The seven-pointed star on the card signifies the seven planets of ancient astrology, symbolizing the interconnectedness of all things in the universe. 
Lastly, we come to the universe, the final card in the major arcana. This card encapsulates the totality of existence. The central figure in this card is encircled by a serpent, an ancient symbol of eternity and rebirth. The universe card in the Thoth Tarot is a testament to Crowley's belief in the cyclical nature of the universe and the eternal dance of creation and destruction. Let's delve into the language of tarot art. In the Thoth Tarot, the artistry does not merely decorate the cards, but serves as a critical tool for understanding the esoteric meanings within. Crowley's deck is a melting pot of science, philosophy and Eastern and Western religions. It's a vivid tapestry of Kabbalah, astrology, alchemy and much more. Every symbol, every colour, every line is meticulously chosen, creating a complex web of interconnected meanings. This deck is not for the faint-hearted. It demands the reader to delve into the depths of esoteric knowledge, to question, to seek and to uncover the hidden truths of existence. Each card is a journey into a different realm, a different aspect of the self and the universe. In the Thoth Tarot, every card is a cosmos of esoteric knowledge. The art of tarot is a visual language, a dialogue between the conscious and the subconscious. Its realm, where intricate symbols and powerful archetypes come alive, whispering secrets of the unseen. These symbols and archetypes are not mere artistic choices, but deliberate tools to tap into our subconscious mind, a concept deeply rooted in Carl Jung's theories. Jung, a Swiss psychiatrist and psychoanalyst, introduced the idea of the collective unconscious a reservoir of experiences shared by all humans and archetypes, universal symbols that reside within this collective unconscious. Through the art of tarot, we encounter these archetypes and symbols, triggering deep-seated understandings and awakening our intuition. The Fool, the Empress, the Tower, and each and every card is a tableau of universal experiences and emotions, speaking to us in a language older than words. It's a language that bypasses the rational mind, diving into the depths of our subconscious. As we conclude, let's reflect on our journey and look ahead. The tarot, in essence, is a mirror of our inner universe. We've journeyed through the esoteric art of tarot, but this is just the beginning. We've dissected the symbols of the Rider Waite Smith and the Thoth tarot, revealing secrets hidden in plain sight. We've delved into the language of tarot art, shedding light on its profound messages. However, we've only scratched the surface of this intricate and fascinating world. For those of you who wish to continue this exploration, two essential books stand out. The Pictorial Key to the Tarot by A. E. Waite offers a detailed analysis of the Rider Waite Smith deck, while The Book of Thoth by Alistair Crowley provides an in-depth explanation of the Thoth Tarot. Additionally, consider exploring lesser known decks. Each one holds its own unique wisdom and insights offering fresh perspectives on this ancient practice. Remember, the tarot is a mirror, reflecting our inner selves. It's a tool for introspection and personal growth. The tarot invites you on a journey of self-discovery. Are you ready to explore the mysteries within? Loads of cool stuff is heading your way on Lumen Spiritus. So hit subscribe and notification bell for more mind-bending mysteries. Tell us in the comments below what you think about this video. Let's keep the adventure going.